As much as I loved living in Green Valley, here are 11 things that I didn't like so much about living there. And if you stay all the way till the end, I'll save the best for last on the number one thing that not only I think was the worst thing about living in Green Valley, but several residents that I also interviewed for this video didn't like about living in Green Valley. Many people don't know this, but Green Valley isn't actually in the city of Las Vegas. It's in a separate city called Henderson. And Henderson actually has its own city hall and its own mayor and its own police force. It was also voted one of the top three safest cities in the United States. Green Valley was actually one of the very first master planned communities in the Las Vegas area and surrounding cities which would be Henderson. Everyone was really excited and it was all the buzz that this master plan community was being developed in the area and would provide the tree-lined streets, proper sidewalks with community centers and golf courses all over the place. Just a different type of community living than Las Vegas had ever experienced before. Let's first talk about the location of Green Valley and its vicinity to the surrounding Las Vegas area. If you live in Green Valley and you want to go to Mount Charleston, you have about a one hour and 30 minute drive from Green Valley. If you'd like to go to Red Rock Canyon, that's about a 40 minute drive. And if you want to get to the airport, you're about 20 minutes away, which means you're about 20 minutes, 25 minutes from the center of city also, which would be Las Vegas Boulevard. And you can get to Lake Mead in about 30 minutes and Boulder City in about 40 minutes as well. If you happen to live in Green Valley and work on the north side of town, say Nellis Air Force Base, there are some Air Force members that actually do live all throughout our city, but they actually do live in Green Valley as well. That's about a 40 to 50 minute drive to get to your job if that's where you work. Those are some things you might wanna keep in mind if you're considering moving to Green Valley is that its location can be really close to some things, but because it's so far south, it can also be a little far from things as well. That's something to consider if you're thinking about moving into Green Valley. So let's get into some of the things that people don't like so much about living in Green Valley. So if you're in the market to buy a home and you start shopping in Green Valley, you're going to recognize that the prices do go up. The median price for the Las Vegas and surrounding cities is just under $425,000 right now. But if you were to go to Green Valley, you'll notice that those prices are more because the median price in Green Valley is actually $469,000 compared to $425,000. That's a pretty big difference. So if you're shopping for homes on a budget, Green Valley might not be the best option for you unless you're willing to maybe take less house for more money. Another thing, along with those prices, you'll notice that Green Valley is already a developed area. There are older homes in Green Valley, those that you could find elsewhere for that lower median price as well. So it's something to think about when you're shopping and deciding what side of town you want to live in. So with higher median sales prices, you can also expect to have higher median rent prices. So if you're thinking you're just going to move to Green Valley to rent, also something to consider that the rent prices are higher there than they will be in other areas in the Las Vegas Valley. And as much as we pride ourselves as the gaming capital of the United States, it's also a downside to living in Green Valley. Henderson is home to Green Valley Ranch Stations and it is an amazing casino with lots of dining and it's adjacent to the district which has more dining and shopping but it also is a 24-hour casino with gambling and there's also gambling in all of the grocery stores and convenience stores as well. So if you think you might have a problem with any type of addiction or become addicted to gambling that is definitely a downside to living in Green Valley. I know most of you would probably be purchasing in Green
Green Valley because it would become your residence. Green Valley is made up mostly of communities and neighborhoods that are run by HOAs, and HOAs do not allow short-term rentals. So if you're thinking about purchasing in Green Valley, to make a short-term rental project or property, it's probably not wise for you to invest your money in doing so because you will get found out and you will be shut down. So think twice if that's your objective. So if purchasing a short-term rental is in your plans, reach out to me or comment below and I can help connect you with some of those properties. But if that's your objective, Green Valley is definitely not the best place for you to invest your money. Another downside to living in Green Valley is already a very established community. So if you're in the market for a brand new home or a newer home, Green Valley probably is not going to be the best place for you to find your next home because most of the homes in that area are already there, they've been there for many years, 20 plus years. You might be able to find a 10 year old home, but most of them are going to be older. So if you are wanting to purchase a new build, Green Valley is probably going to have some really slim pickings for you. I, there are some areas where there are luxury homes being built along the mountainside, but that's not really Green Valley proper. It is in Henderson but not Green Valley proper. And homes that are starter homes or mid-range homes, that I think is where you're really gonna have a hard time finding a new property. So in the beginning of this video, I was mentioning the proximity of Green Valley to some of the more popular destinations in the Vegas area. And that actually is one of the downsides because two of the most popular outdoor places in the Las Vegas area are Mount Charleston and Red Rock Canyon. And both of those places are quite a distance from Green Valley. Like I said earlier, uh, it's about an hour and a half drive to Mount Charleston and about a 40 to 50 minute drive to Red Rock Canyon, depending on traffic. So it definitely is a downside. Although Green Valley is closer to Lake Mead, the other outdoor activities or the majority of outdoor activities in the Vegas area are across town. So if outdoor activities are your thing, you might want to consider and check out some of the other surrounding neighborhoods other than Green Valley. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa Lopez and I'm a real estate consultant in the Las Vegas area. I specialize in luxury real estate and I have a passion in helping families just like you achieve the American dream of home ownership. For more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Another thing that I hear a lot of people complain about, and it's actually the very reason why I left Green Valley and moved to Summerlin, is the lack of school options in the Green Valley area. Green Valley does have some top rated high schools, middle schools, and lower schools, but when you're talking about private school options, Green Valley is lacking options compared to the other neighborhoods in the Vegas area. What do you think about Green Valley so far? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I made a video about Green Valley versus Las Vegas. You can click on that on the card around me. Okay, we are almost to the end and I have saved the best for last. I'm going to share with you the top two worst things about living in Green Valley. The district at Green Valley has been around for several years and it has offered some of the best shopping in the Green Valley area. But in comparison to its other master planned counterparts in the Vegas area, their shopping has a long way to come. For example, if you were to go shopping at the district in Green Valley, you would find stores such as REI, Anthropology, and Bath and Body Works. Not so bad, right? But if you drive 40 minutes across town to its competing Summerlin master plan and go to downtown Summerlin, you'll find stores such as Dillard's, Macy's, Nordstrom Rack, Lululemon, 
Victoria's Secret, just to name a few. So you can see there's a huge divide in shopping options in Green Valley versus other places in the Las Vegas area. And if you're talking about dining, the only really good restaurant that I know of in the district just opened and it's an Echo and Rick. There is a nice steakhouse in the Green Valley Ranch Casino, and that's Hank's. But for the most part, those are the only two fine dining restaurants in the Green Valley area. Whereas if you compare it to its counterpart again in Summerlin, we have restaurants such as Harlow Steakhouse, Vintner Grill, Jing, T-Bones, just to name a few of those as well. So Green Valley does have a lot of work to do on getting its nightlife, dining, and shopping options up to par. Especially when we're talking about all of the Raiders players moving to that area. There's a lot of money in Green Valley and there's a lot of big luxury homes and lots of NFL players moving here. So I really think it's time for Green Valley to step up to what its residents are demanding from it. One of the biggest complaints that the residents still have is that in order to go to the finer shops and dining options, they have to leave the Green Valley area and either go to to the strip or to Summerlin. And this has become very frustrating. And it also goes in line with the number one reason why people don't like Green Valley. And that's because of the traffic. Aside from the traffic problems in commuting across town from Green Valley, just the traffic alone within the community is the number one frustration amongst residents living in the Green Valley area. Every time I talk to anyone who has to to go to the Green Valley area or lives in the Green Valley area, they complain constantly about how bad the traffic is on Eastern, on Pecos, on St. Rose Parkway, you name it, everyone always complains that it takes so long to get around just within the streets of Green Valley. I realize there's traffic all over the Las Vegas Valley and we are always under construction, so that doesn't help. But for some reason, the gridlock in Green Valley is over the top frustrating for most people and it is talked about amongst Las Vegas residents as a whole. As much as I say I don't like Green Valley compared to Summerlin, I do frequent Green Valley quite a bit. I go there every other week to get my nails done and I do go to Lifetime there probably once a month and my accountant is there too. So I do have to travel to Green Valley quite a bit. So I am very experienced with the traffic problems and the lack of dining and shopping options as well. I also lived in the area for about 15 years, so I know what it was like living there and the types of outdoor activities that were at my fingertips versus where I currently live in Summerlin. I do think Green Valley is a great place to raise your kids. It's a great place to call home, but I always want you guys to know the pros and cons to living somewhere, anywhere in the Las Vegas area. So I'm going to always point out the negatives because it's definitely something for you to think about. Green Valley, just like any other area of town in Las Vegas, has its own vibe for sure. And the people are different in Green Valley than they are in Summerlin. You will hear it all the time. Actually, I've had comments on my, my channel here where people were telling me that Summerlin was known as Snubberlin, and I never knew that. I think it's kind of funny, but I never knew that. So my advice to you, if you are thinking about moving to Green Valley or anywhere in the Las Vegas area, is that you sit down at a coffee shop, talk to people, spend a little time in that community, see how people interact with each other, go to the grocery store, see how people interact with each other there, go for walks, Talk to people. That's the only way you're going to really know if you like the vibe of the community that you're purchasing in. You've got to spend time there. And so those are my biggest 
pieces of advice to anyone trying to move here is just immerse yourself in the community as much as you can. Even if you're here for a weekend, spend that weekend in the community you think you're going to purchase in the most. And then if you're not satisfied, come back another weekend and spend that weekend in the other part of town. But there are wonderful things about Green Valley and it's growing. I loved watching the Raiders practice facility go up. I loved watching the Dollar Loan Center be built and all of these different things that are actually making Henderson a better place and a bigger place and coming alongside the Las Vegas area as well. So as many negative things as I say about Green Valley, I still think there are great things as well. And if you want to hear more about Green Valley, comment below because I'd love to hear what you know and I'll make a video just for you. To find out more about Green Valley or the Las Vegas area, make sure to check out my playlist. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified each time I drop a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.